Hey gang, Pastor Jerry, good evening. It's about 5.25 on, um, let's say it's Tuesday, I think, yes, Tuesday. And I wanna say, hey, we miss you guys a ton. Hope everyone is doing well, hope everyone is prospering. And I just wanted to share a couple of things as far as where we are with uh, reopening, where we are with moving forward. Um, right now, um, as your senior pastor, I have an obligation to obey God first, um, but also obey the the um, the other regulations of the state, of our governor, of our president, uh, and um, and also protect my or protect the people that God has given me. And um, I'm under authority by by the Lord and um, also by um, my overseer. And I don't want anyone to think that I'm weak at all or, or moving too fast or too slow. I'm very methodical because I know that this is more about the kingdom versus Jerry Campers. So as of right now, um, we're still under a stay-at-home edict. I think that exp uh, that expires on the 30th. I'm sure he'll. I'm sure our governor will come out with more. Um, at that point, um, we're going to continue as is. Um, I know there are a lot of people who still um, feel uncomfortable coming out in big crowds, and that's understandable. Um, and um, I want you to know that I'm going to really think through everything that we do here the next few weeks, and um, I won't be moved by my own. Uh, desires. I, I won't be moved by by the government. I'll, I'll really only be moved by God and what God tells me. And initially, I was very, very, very against it, and I still am against us not being able to have church as, as a gathering. Um, but by the same token, too, like Pastor Dan told me, I can't control who comes in the church and what they bring with them as far as any type of uh, cl being clean or sanitary issues. And so um, we talked about that and talk about it with, uh, with my wife and with um, uh, some other council. And so this is where we are right now. Um, we are prospering right now as a church. Uh, the testimonies I hear are incredible. Um, people are getting blessed up and down financially. Uh, people are growing spiritually. I've talked to several people this week who are really seeing God in a new and better way. And uh, we won't go back to the way we used to be as a church or as a people. Um, so I want you guys to know that uh, I'm not moved by anything at all. I'm moved by the Word of God. I'm moved by Spirit. And every situation that we come in contact with as Christians, we have to pray and ask God what He wants us to do in the season that we're in, in the season that we are in, and for the specific situation. Everything is not carte blanche. <clears throat> so we have to walk by faith, not by sight, in, in every area, in every uh, situation. So with that in mind, uh, this Sunday, we'll have our regular service online. Uh, we'll probably do it next Sunday. I want to ease in to this very slowly. I'm waiting for the city to get back with me on when we could have um, a, um, a parking lot service. We'll, uh, we'll ease in that way. And then as they, they, as they release the restrictions, we will begin to filter people in, filter our church family in one by one. Those who feel safe to come can come. And those who don't can definitely watch online. That's no problem at all. But I want to obey God and protect my people. That's really it. Uh, and um, I want y'all to be at peace to know that I'm going to obey God first. And, uh, and then he'll always have me protect his people, you all. And he'll always have me to be in good light because you have to understand, and you know, Again, I am someone who wants to be a maverick, but I'm uh, not a rebel. And, um, you know, the Lord told me, says, Jerry, they're not telling you that you can't preach the gospel, but they're telling you that you need to be safe when you do that. And for right now, in their minds, the safest way to do that is to um, reduce gathering. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. Um, I hope it's not too ambiguous, but I'm really just seeking God right now on what we should do as a church as far as reopening. And so, but I will definitely get counsel from Pastor Dan, our overseer. I'll talk to um, um, our our other church leaders, uh, our, our other pastors, and uh, and just move forward. We're in no hurry to um, 
do anything. We're just really walking by faith and not by sight. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Go have dinner. Hope you have fun. And uh, we love you guys so much. We miss you guys a ton. And uh, we will see you all real soon, either online uh, or at church when we are able to. Love you tons, and I'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.